In this video I'm going to show you how to do the passive distraction test for slap lesions. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. According to a study done by Schlechter et al. in the year 2009, the passive distraction test has a low sensitivity of 53% and a high specificity of 94% in the detection of superior labral tears. This means that this test has a moderate clinical value for the inclusion of superior labral tears. To perform this test, have your patient in supine lying position at the edge of the table. Then elevate the affected arm to 150 degrees in the coronal plane with the elbow in extension and the forearm in supination and the upper arm stabilized to prevent humeral rotation. Then gently pronate the forearm. This test is considered positive if pain is reported deep inside the glenohumeral joint, either anteriorly or posteriorly. It is postulated that this maneuver rotates the radial tuberosity, placing traction on the biceps, which in turn tensions the proximal long head of the biceps anchor at the superior labrum, causing a peel back or fishing mouthing of the labrum. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Before you leave, give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.